What's going on, guys? Welcome back, man. It's your boy D Friend. Before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, all that good stuff like that. Give this video a big thumbs up. Give it a like before we get started. So, I've done a video on the Officer Tatum, Brandon Tatum got before, and it was his response to the January 6th, Capitol riots, all those things like that. Now, I just feel like it's very like hypocritical because they don't really go go off on these people when they do it, but then when it's like Black Lives Matter, they have a million words for them that they're coming for. It's all things, right? So, hypocritical shit, right? And before I want to preface this, because you got to preface it because people go off, well, you must be some liberal. Blah, blah, blah. I don't care about none of that shit. I ain't going to lie to you. Like, the way that some of these people are so invested in these things is comical to me. A lot of these times I watch these pundits on both sides discuss these things so passionately, it's comical for me. So, we all see Maxine Waters' comments. I mean, if you haven't seen them, they've been going viral. Everybody's been talking about them. The judge in the Derek Chauvin trial even spoke on them. She said, protesters, if they don't get this right, we need to be more confrontational. Well, they're going to play it here, but we need to be more confrontational. People took that. They're like, get her out of here. We got the minority leader in the House. He's setting up a thing trying to get her impeached or censured. Marjorie Taylor Greene, who got censured from the, the House, right? She's still in the House, but she got censured from, I think, duties like she's not on any panels or anything like that she's yeah get her out of here but like Marjorie Taylor Greene was saying like the 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 fires in California were starting by Jewish spaces like, like we got Looney Tunes in the house uh, let's just say that and it's on not just saying it's on the right side but she's a Looney Tune like I don't even she's a Looney Tune but anyways I want to react to some of the video discuss with you guys and you know because I do think the Maxine Water thing is dumb especially not even dumb just on what she said I think it's dumb because of the implication it could have on the trial if he does get convicted. Because the judge said itself, you have a strong case for appeals with that statement. Because there's no way that the jury hasn't seen social media. There's no way the jury hasn't seen the TV. There's just no way that these things haven't happened. So you could because he tried to do a mistrial. Like, look, this congressperson who's very powerful said this. It can make the jury sway a little way because they're scared of riots. And they're saying if they're, they get it wrong, there'll be riots. I honestly think anyway, like, let's just be, let's keep it a buck. If they don't do, like, the highest charges, like, they just find them guilty of whatever the lowest one is, I think it's, like, third degree, they still going to riot. I'm not even going to, they're still going to riot. It doesn't even matter. But let's get to the video. Uh, which one is it? Here it is. All right. So this is Brandon Tatum. This is this discussion about Maxine Waters. There's no way she could stay in office. No way. That's the, whoa. Oh my God, I gotta watch this video. I have to watch this. This video is brought to you by the Officer Tatum store. The Officer Tatum store. Make sure you go into the store. Jesus Salute is Lord's shirt black just owner. came out. I'm still waiting on mine to come Salute. in. Discount code Jesus is Lord. Salute get 25% off the family. entire store. So make sure you go on to the Officer Tatum store. Get your Jesus is Lord shirt before it sell out because it's the hottest shirt that I've ever made. Anyway, Jesus Lord. let's get into go this. Get it. Ladies and gentlemen, Maxine Waters. She stays in the news. She's in the news all the time. And in my personal opinion, it's not for doing anything good. It's because she's a hack. She's a political hack. Now, we know that President Trump gave a speech on the 6th, and people would never stop talking about that. In the speech, he said um, that go over to the Capitol and peacefully protest. Obviously, that peaceful protest turned violent mm -hmm. to a certain degree. Maxine Waters is not even holding her tongue. She's not even saying peaceful, nothing. She has called for violence I don't know how many times. And people are actually being injured and hurt. I don't like, like, be, You got to be, you got to be like, I don't want to be like these other people who discuss topics going on. Like, if you look at Maxine Waters, she has said some wild shit. She said, when you see the people that's in that cabinet, Trump's cabinet, confront them at grocery stores, confront them at this, confront them at that. Make them uncomfortable, create a crowd. Maxine, that's irresponsible. And that's dumb to say. I don't, I don't care. She's old, 80. She's been in Congress for 50 years. I don't care. It's a dumb thing to say. And it's just going to be used against you at every point in term. And it is hypocritical because if someone on the other side was to say that, let's say, I want to use Marjorie Taylor Greene because I don't think her and Maxine are like on that same level. But let's just say a long-standing woman in Congress. Let's say Liz Cheney, even though like she was against Trump. Um, and was looking to impeach him, whatever. Let's say she said, Republicans, when you see anybody in Biden's cabinet, push him out. You see him in the stores. You see him in the... It'd be, it'd be hell on high water. 
every major news network would be going crazy. They'd be saying that she needs to be taken out of how like it'd be World War Three. It's not even on both sides. I don't know what's supposed to make it even on both sides. It seems like the left is winning on we want to quote unquote the culture war because they have everybody controlled and scared, big corporations, big tech, everybody bows down to that side and like your side they don't even give a damn about. I don't know what you do, but I'm going to be here and I'm going to be fair. I'm going I'm to call it straight. She has said some wild shit. When she said, I'm going to go to Trump and I'm going to take him out, she could try to tie it up anyways, but most people look at that like, what you mean take him out? You can't say stuff like that. So that's my piece on that. She's saying, at least if you're going to associate Trump's rhetoric of saying go over there and peacefully protest to somehow, somehow uh, create an insurrection, then there's no way that you can listen to this and think that she shouldn't be impeached. At basic minimum, she should be impeached. Listen to what she said, and I'm going to tell you what happened right after she said this. That's evidence that she incited violence and she should be impeached. And this is a shame. This is a disgrace to our country. These <laughs> no, like when y'all watch these videos, you can't tell me this shit don't make you laugh, bro. Like I and, and I don't even know if he be dead serious. It could be over. when you broadcast me doing it. You got to be a little bit over dramatic. But like, come on, though. <laughs> this shit is comical to me. Sorry, mother. All right. Hold on. Let me <laughs> impeach. And this is a shame. This is a disgrace to our country. These sorry mother. <laughs> These right. sorry mother. Just say Bro, motherfuckers. Like I get it. You Christian. You on the thing. Like that just looks so. That look, when you do when you gotta hit the button for things, it don't seem like you're really that passionate. Like okay, let me hit this button real quick. And then I'm passionate. Like come on, it's comical. It's just like a comedy show. That tells you right there. You've been fighting for so many years for reform, 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 and nothing has been done. That means you ain't doing your job. You are not a real politician. These people are evil. All right, let me keep. Yes. I would like to see the bill in Congress pass on police reform, but I know that the right wing, the racist... Right wing and racist. So what she's saying is that the, the Republicans in Congress are not going to do anything about it, or the Republicans in the Senate are not going to do anything about it, because they're racist. This is how you paint a whole swath of people, and you wonder why we all divided and people are, ready, are at each other's throat. Because of people like this... No, no bullshit. Did he literally... Literally three, like she said, they're racist. Like that's dumb. That's dumb logic. All Republicans are racist. Like it's dumb logic. Like you, these people who speak is dumb logic. Are there probably some racist Republicans? I'm sure. And there's probably also some racist re Democrats. I'm sure. Are all them racist? No. That's a dumb even like thing to even think. But she's saying the the right wing, the racist, they're gonna do this. Him and other people, they say Democrats are evil. Um, you listen to Jesse Lee Peterson, they're the children of the lie. They're here to corrupt their children and take your bet. It's the same shit. I just don't get how people don't see that. Like, how are people blind to that? Both of them are saying inflammatory things. He's saying she, people like her, are evil. Because even if you go to the, the January 6th video I made about him, like discussing the rights, they're evil. They're this, they're that. But then you can't cry and be like, this is how you castigate a society in a society because you vilify. You're saying this side's evil. So if you think these people are evil, and I see a Kamala Harris sticker, I'm okay, Democrat, that person right there is evil. And they see a Trump thing, they're racist. Both sides, dumb. Just trying to be, you know, just be honest. Like, just be honest with yourself. That's how it is. They cannot disagree fundamentally. They got to say these people are racist. I, I, you gotta I, say I they're evil. Cuss. I Same cuss. thing. I'm opposed to it, and I don't know what's going to happen to it, but I know this. We've got to stay in the street, and we've got to... We've got to demand justice. Stay in the street, demand justice. I'm going to fast forward to the part where she get, she get real crazy. Despite all of the effort. Let me get to the part where she get real stupid. That earring about to fall out makes him here. Talking. I want you to stop meeting. <laughs> oh I want God. you to stop gathering. I don't agree with that. Are you going to stay out here? Uh, no, I'm not going to stay out here. I came here from Washington uh, just no, to No, 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 no. Be, am I going to stay here? No. You niggas can stay here. I'm just here from Washington to speak my piece, but I'm saying to make sure that I let my voice be heard among all of those who have been putting so Girl, much you time that from on Washington. the streets. And so I'm hopeful that the uh, and so you're not going to be there in the drama hit. You're just showing up for a photo op. That's pretty much what you're saying. Now she's she talking yeah. about the violence here. Let me play it. What should protesters on the street do? I didn't hear you. What happens? What should protesters do? 
Well, we, we got to stay on the street, uh, and we've got to get more active. We've got to get more confrontational. We've got to make sure that they they know that we mean business. What do you think about this current? I don't know what else needs to be said. We got to be more confrontational. We need to get get in these people's face. All this stuff she's talking she about. She didn't say getting a like. Don't and add. Don't happens. add. Like it's enough for what she said tonight. Get listen, listen, I gotta hear you. What do you think about this? Current We've got to get more active. We've got to get more confrontational. We've got to make sure that they they know that we mean business. What do you think about this? Current okay, so yeah, I get confrontational. Um, we need to be active. We need to know, let them know we about business, right? So they don't got to add no sauce to it. Cause that's just media manipulation right there. Cause the audience is gonna not even pay attention. Got to be more confrontational. We need to get get in these people's face. All this stuff she's talking about. And then what happens? Get confrontational. We need to get in there. I'm not gonna be here. I'm, a, I'm I came here from California. I, I'm just coming here to rile up y'all and get y'all fired up and and, and 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 let you be crazy. And I'm gonna go back to my mansion. But y'all need to step up and start staying in the streets and be more confrontational. Okay, <laughs> when she says that, you should be more confrontational. People believed her. And she don't even live in Minneapolis, but she's there. People believed her. And what do you know? Hours after Maxine Waters calls for more confrontation, Minnesota National Guard targeted by drive-by shooting. You go down <laughs> That's not funny. That's article, bad. But Is that in the wee hours of the, of the morning... Let's keep it a buck, all right? So you got to know when you're a politician. Like, when you say certain things, it's going to be used against you. When Donald Trump keeps saying they're trying to steal this from us, come here, they're going to steal it, and his people run up in the Capitol, they're going to use that against you. You riled them up. You did that, right? That, that, this is what's going to happen. That's what they're going to use against uh, a guy like Trump. Maxine Waters says, give more confrontation on these guys who are drive by shit. Let's keep it a buck. These guys are not listening to Maxine. I don't Come on. Like, they're not They ain't see Maxine Waters and be like... Maxine said it. Get ready, boys. We're going to sh stop it. It's easy. She made it easy for people to write them headlines. She made it easy for people to believe that. But, like, let's, in your heart of hearts, do you really think that these guys heard Maxine Waters and said, let's load up and go run down on these National Guards? Keep it a buck. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Now, the guys are idiots. You shouldn't be shooting at National Guard who are there. They, they probably didn't want to be there. They got to be there just in anticipation for what might go on. But let's keep it a buck. They're not doing that because of Maxine Waters. Like, she made it easy, though. She gave, she gave the Republicans a layup. At four, like around 4 a.m., some fool decided to open fire on National Guard, on, on, on Minneapolis at National Guard, or Minnesota's, or Minneapolis National Guard. They decided to open fire on them. And, 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 and you tell me that this is not a direct correlation with what she said. And I'll read it specifically. The shooting occurred at 4.19 a.m. as a light-colored SUV fired several shots at the operational Operation Safety Net security team providing uh, neighborhood security. No team members were seriously injured. Two National Guard members did sustain minor injuries from the incident. One guardsman sustained an injury um, from shattered glass requiring additional care and was taken to a, the local hospital to receive treatment for injuries sustained. Thank God nobody died. But it's because of the rhetoric like this that people are doing this. Tell me how there was no drive-by violence that occurred until Maxine Waters came into a city that she don't even live in to tell people what I just showed you. And now at 4, 4 a.m., hours after she says this, they're doing a drive-by shooting on a National Guard. National Guard aren't even the police officers. You're protesting the police, but you're, but you're shooting at the National Guard. And Maxine Waters ain't got no... She not, they all look militarized. They don't know the difference. Nothing. Nothing. Now, we got people in the house that are, that are trying to fight again. All right, so I spoke about that. People, McCarthy, Marjorie Taylor Greene, they're trying to create a thing to get Maxine Water out of here. I get it, right? It's easy. It's a political game. They don't really care. They just It's political. It's a political move. It's like, hey, when we did this, y'all held us accountable, so now with you guys, we're going to hold you guys accountable. Like, that's the game that they're playing. That's the game that it is. If you put your faith in any of these people, you're wild. You're crazy. I ain't going to lie to you. Like, politics, you could look at certain, like, be a, a single voter, whatever, single-issue voter, and look at this, that you care about this, you care about that. But, like, if you're invested in these people, 
I think you're wild. Because they're never going to lead you the right way. Either, no, either side. They're going to lead you the way they want to lead you, right? That's why, like, now when you've seen, like, Ted Cruz going to the border to try to expose Joe Biden. It's like, but whenever y'all were in there, y'all didn't care about the border. And then, like, whenever you ask the people that are Democrats who cared, so, oh, my God, children in a cage, when you ask them, they don't got nothing. It's like, it's all hip- hypocrisy. Like, you you get involved in these people's game, and it just swallows you up. You in the game now, too. And now, when your team's in power, y'all are doing whatever y'all want to do. The other side is chirping, chirping, chirping. Then when you get in power, you're doing damn near the same thing. And then you're over here, chirping, 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 chirping this revolving door. That's why they say the good old days when mm-hmm. motherfuckers didn't tell you who they voted for and they didn't talk about your religion. Now everybody's got to let you know what they think. Look when I spoke about the Demi Lovato ice cream thing. Everybody's triggered. Everybody's this, that. This is a society that we're going towards. He brought up how, oh, my God, they're calling the right wing racist. And, but then he says that they're evil. It's like it's the same thing. On the both sides of the coin, these are the same type of people. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I really want to know what you think. How do you feel about the situation? What do you think is going to happen with the Chauvin trial? Because the verdict, it's been it's been about almost, you know, almost 24 hours. We're still waiting to see what they say. I think regardless, either way, there's going to be some damage. There's going to be some riot. Even if, he, like I said, if he gets the third degree, I feel like people are still going to be, like, mad. And maybe, you know, there's, even if he gets charged fully, I, I, just, I just see, like, there's going to be people that are going to find a reason to do some things, and I, I just keep it a buck. But let me know what you guys think. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.